Hello, this is David Hale with Tech Dive TV. This is Tech Review Monday, and normally I pick reviews from the internet that I like, but I got a unique opportunity to be invited to test Sling TV. Now, most of you know that I'm a cord cutter. I don't have cable TV. I either have an antenna, which gets me about 41 channels, uh, or I stream my, my uh, content from the internet. Uh, I have a Roku box, Apple TV, uh, Chromecast, and a number of other solutions to stream uh, content from the internet. So um, I don't use cable television. But Sling TV is actually put out by Dish Network, and it's actually a way to stream content live. Yep, they have a few channels that you can stream live. It costs about $20 a month. Um, there's also additions you can put on. I put on one addition in this review to give me a couple of extra channels that I would normally watch. But some of the channels that I, you know, have missed by not having cable, Sling TV actually gives me those channels. Let's go ahead and take a look at the interface of Sling TV. Here is the actual guide. This is the On Now section, which means it'll show you on the channels that they carry what's currently playing on those channels right now. Now, you, you have things like pause. So if you, know, if you want to pause your program, go get something to eat, come back and start it up again, you can do that with Sling TV, just like you can with a DVR. It is not a DVR, however, but it does have a lot of channels. I mean, a lot of people um, miss channels, like I miss TNT, and TBS. Um, I don't get those, obviously, if I don't have cable. So, actually, I can get them now with Sling TV. And I think it's worth, for me, the $20 a month to get TNT, TBS, and some of the other channels that I watch. You notice, if you click on the channel itself, you could actually get the schedule for that channel for that day. So, clicking on TBS, I can see that they're running Lord of the Rings, a whole bunch of the Big Bang Theory and some other things. HGTV is uh, running, you know, the buying and selling with the Property Brothers and a number of other HGTV channels. Now, the DIY channel and the cooking channel are actually adding additive channels, which means I had to pay an extra $5 to get those channels, but I watched them, so it's worth it to me. The Food Network is a standard channel that comes with the package, and I have been missing the Food Network. Um, I'm a cook, and I love to cook, so watching the Food Channel is a great thrill to me. The Cooking Channel, again, is on that $5 ad addition that I put in there. We have a Travel Channel. We have a channel called El Rey, which I don't really understand yet. I haven't watched as of yet because I just got the invitation uh, a couple days ago. But it has movies and such. You also have the Maker Channel. So if you, you're a maker, you, you know, maker bots, or you do you know, any kind of making as far as you know, inventing things or building things, the Maker Channel will have interesting content for that. I have CNN, which is nice because not having cable, I don't have CNN, and I would like to have the ability to go to an all 24-hour news channel if I wanted to. Headline News Network is on there as well, which is a subsidiary of CNN. Bloomberg Television, uh, I don't think I'll watch it, but if something comes to pass with you know investments or something, I might want to look at it. Cartoon Network Adult Swim, it has. It also has ABC Family Channel and Disney Channel. For our Spanish-speaking uh, population, it has Galavision as well, so it has some Spanish-speaking content as well. But you can also go back to um, looking at the On Now schedule and find out what's currently on at any point you want to. Now, this runs through my Roku box. It'll also run through any Apple, Android, or PC or Mac. So you can run it through any of those devices. And notice it also has ESPN and ESPN2. I mean, most people who don't have cable can't watch ESPN or ESPN2. But now you can. There's also additional news channel options for another $5 a month and additional sports channels options for another $5 a month. So at most, you'd be paying $35 a month for this. Um, at least it's $20 for the basic channels that it comes with. But 
I looked at the video and it really is quite good. It's high definition video. To watch something, you just click on the show you want to watch and click watch. So I would highly recommend trying out Sling TV if you get a chance. This is David Hale with Tech Dive TV, Tech Review Monday. You have a good day.